Hello, everybody! Welcome to In the Kitchens with Floyd Ludwigs. I'm your host, Floyd Ludwigs. Today we are focusing on how to make the perfect breakfast burritos. I'm so excited! Come on! Joshua Tube. Let's take a look at our basic preps. These are the things you're going to need to make the perfect breakfast burritos. You're going to need one cutting board, one knife, one spoon, and one fork. You're also going to need Pam or your favorite cooking sprays, two eggs, salt and peppers in your favorite shakers, your favorite vegetables. For this one, we will be using my second favorite, green peppers. Of course, my favorite vegetable is black olive. Of course, we need cheeses, one tortilla shells, and your favorite salsas. You also have to have your favorite yummy meats. Mine is bacon. Don't burn the bacons. Your favorite orange juices. Mine is no pulps. And your yummy side fruits. And most importantly, you need a good pan. Don't tell Josh I burned the hell out of this one. Before you do any cookings, you have to do your preps works. What that means is, certain things need to be done before you start making the eggs. For example, if you want to make bacon, you have to start making the bacon before you can make the breakfast burritos. If you start frying the eggs before you make the bacon, no, 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 it won't be ready in time. I like to begin by getting all of my materials out ahead of time. Are we ready? Are we excited? I'm so excited. It's 7.36 a.m. Nobody's even awake yet. Wake up, everybody. The first step is we're going to spray the pans. Then we turn on the lights to preheat the pans. While the pan is heating up, you're going to cut up your vegetables. If it's difficult, just cut right through it. Work through the difficulties. You cut it into very small pieces. Don't cut your fingers off. Is the pan burning? This is how they cut in the movies. When you're done cutting, you pour the vegetables into the pans. Do you hear that taste? It's so yummy. Next, you have to crack your eggs. Try not to get any of the eggshells into the bowl. It would be so hard to get it out. Also, don't give yourself eggshell cuts. We have to throw this in the garbage, quick. Quickly, quickly. We don't want the vegetables to burn. Then you take out your fork and you just go like this. Then what you do is you go like this. You go whoosh, in the big circles like this. See that? Oh, so good. Then what you do is you have to move the vegetables around, okay? Spread those veggies around, okay? Good. Just like this. You want to make sure the light is not too high, otherwise your eggs will burn. Slow and steady wins the races. Next, we add our salts and peppers. You don't want to put in too much peppers, just enough. Like that. You have to eyeball it. You have to use your eyes. Then we do salt. Hello! There we go. You want to let it simmer a little bit. Look at the bacon. It just wants to be friends with the eggs. Don't worry, eggies. Bacon is coming. Now I want to show you a cool trick. When you feel the eggs begins to harden, this is what I do. This is a pro tip. You get the spatula under the eggs and you lift it so that all the juices go to the sides like this. And then you slide the juices under the eggs. That helps the eggs to cook. Josh, if I burn another one of your pans, will I be evicted? Doesn't it look so yummy? Then you got to shake the pan so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. If it burns, oh, it's burning. Oh, no. Oh, no. You got to really move it like this so it does not burn. Now, this is the hard part. You don't want to do this if you're not experienced. I have to flip the eggies so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. And this side has to cook too. So ready? Three, two, one, go. Woo! I've never gotten it before. Now you have to lower the lights. Now while that's cooking, what we do is we have to add the salsas. Take a few spoonfuls of salsas and spread it all around. Not too much or it will be very runny. I think I put too much in. Now we put on some cheeses. You just sprinkle in some cheeses like this. Technically I'm allergic, but I don't care. Now we get to put on the bacon. You can also crumble it up. Oh, I burned the hell out of this. Look how good that looks all crumbled up. So it would be even better if it wasn't burned. Here's another pro tip. If you want the cheese to melt faster, put the tops on it. Again, you don't want to burn the bottom of the eggs, so make sure the light is nice and low. Now we're going to put the tortilla shell into the microwaves. <laughs> 
And while you're waiting, sing a fun song. This is a happy working song. Food, glorious food. What I love most about rivers is you can't step in the same rivers twice. The water's always changing. Let's see how our pants is doing. Oh, it's so melted. Heat up your tortilla shell for 10 seconds. Then when your eggs are ready, turn off the burners, take the top off, and move the eggs from the pans onto the tortilla shells. See how nicely it fits there? Perfect. You got to put all the cheese out of the pans, it is crucial. Look how yummy it looks. The next part is so simple. So all you do is fold it in halves. Turn it sideways, pat it down like good burrito. And serve with your favorite fruits! Mmm, yummy juices! And that's all there is to it! You're ready for the perfect breakfast! Also remember, sharing is caring! If you cook for the people you love, they will love you even more! Is my burrito ready yet, Floyd? Coming, Mrs. Joannas! I so hope you enjoyed this yummy videos. If you want to see more of these, let me know what else you would like me to cook for you. I give breakfast burritos two thumbs up. And if you like this videos, I hope you give it a thumbs up too. What is your favorite breakfast food? Tell me in comments below. And of course you have to subscribe. Next time, should I make fun fatty cakes or chicken soups? Let me know. What should we make next, Maxines? <laughs> is this all? <laughs> <laughs> Don't burn the pagans! <laughs>